Hey everybody, I'm down here in the corner again. I wanted to discuss, explore with you this new print-on-demand website that, uh, interestingly enough, is now integrates with Printful. You know, all know I'm a big Printful fan. The site's called inktail.com, and just like all the other print-on-demands, you can upload your artwork and print different items, uh, shirts, sweatshirts, uh, sublimation shirts, throw pillows, coffee mugs, tote bags. Um, yeah, so here's some of the men's shirts. Uh, I'll go to my account and you can see some of my artwork here. And where is my profile page? See the public. So this would be the store people would see. They'd click an artwork and then see what you have it available on and then purchase it. I don't know about the traffic. I, I just found out about this this weekend, so I'm giving it a try. It's another way to get your shirts and items out there. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little tickle allergy. But what I really want to talk about is, yes, you can come here and click create and upload your own artwork directly here just like any other print-on-demand site. But the more print-on-demand sites you end up doing, it can get uh, tiresome because there's a lot. Well, Printful, let me find the tab. But uh, Printful, now you can see up here in the top, integrates with, what's the site again called? <laughs> Ink something. God, I can't write. remember Ink Take. My brain is fried today. Anyway, what's the benefit of that? Well, if you're already using Printful or you want a one center hub to start doing all your print on demand sites, Printful is somehow becoming that. Because right now, I mean, Printful already, I use it for Shopify and uh, WooCommerce for my own websites selling platforms. They also now integrate with Amazon. I haven't got into that because it's a little more difficult. Um, the Inkscape with integration, you can click here and it'll automatically, it will sign you up for Inkscape. And then what you do, and this is what makes it great, it becomes one of your stores. You can see now I had three stores here. Now I have an Inktail, Inktail store. So what's great about that is all the artwork I have already saved up here for my other shops, I can just go to them and push them to Inktail. Ink and we're going to do one right now. So I click Add on my Inktail site here. And here's, let's go to the final, artwork that I've already have loaded <coughs> for my own website. And let's um, grab one. You can, and what's even great about this, I'm only going to do one, but you can select what you do is you just select file there, go over here, select file there, and then click proceed to artwork names. So you can push several at a time. That's what makes this so great. If you already have your artwork in Printful for your own website, boom, you can start pushing to Inktail. And um, I'm going to right there. And then you put in the keywords here. Anchor Christian. Whoops, I don't know how to spell Christian. Soul. And you can go back and edit all of these things later as well. Explore. Compass. Adventure. Hiking. Oops. Camping. So you do all that. Um, I'll probably go back and edit some more. And you go proceed to products. Choose what products, and this is what I love because when you're doing it to your own website, you can't do this yet. You gotta do one product at a time. But so I can click t shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts, I'm gonna do phone cases, and I don't know, those were all white. I don't think I'm gonna do coffee mugs. Yeah, we'll do coffee mugs. Proceed to pricing, and then here's all your pricing. This is Inktail's price. This is retail price, so here's your profit. And I'm gonna drop these down a little bit. 
I'm not greedy. I usually try to make six bucks profit. Oops. And when you got your prices set, push. Boom. That's all you do. And there they all go. You can see the little wheels turning here. We'll give it a little bit of time here. And we'll go back over to Inktail. Where was it? There it was. Let's go to my um, account. No, Mango. I'm busy. And my artwork. And I did have a dark one, but this one was light. This one will probably not show up. So what it does when it pushes, especially on t-shirts, we'll click this one. Then we'll click t-shirts. And it's still generating the mock-up, so we'll have to give it some time. But what I like to do, like, let's go back to this one. I don't know if I did it here. Since it got white text, it's not going to show up on a white t-shirt. So you're going to go up here to edit product. It pushes it to all the colors. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to remove white, light gray, maybe this beige. Just remove some of the lighter colors. I'm pretty sure it's not going to show up on. The one thing I don't like about it is it doesn't show you a preview on the color like Printful will do. Now Printful's not doing the printing. They're just pushing your products over to Inktail. Inktail's going to be doing the printing once they sell. Hit save and continue. Now let's say because it's white text, I don't want it on a mug. Um, I didn't offer on mugs here, so that's good. So I click that off. But if you change your mind and want to do it, we can go to uh, Throw Pillows and then Edit Layout. And it's a white throw pillow, so nah, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn Throw Pebbles off and then click Save. I probably should have done that for tank tops. Uh, let's go to Edit Products. Let's get rid of the white, light gray, save and continue. And right here, I'm going to go down to Sweatshirts, Edit Layout, remove the white, remove the light gray, and remove pink and light blue. So you're going to have to go back in probably do a little editing, but it does most of the work for you. And that's what I, I like about it. So let's go back to uh, my site. We'll go back to the one we just loaded, Explore Campus Light, Compass Light here. I'm going to edit that later, but I'm going to go to T-shirts and I'm going to remove the white. Whoops. Let's go to edit. Remove the white, light gray, probably that gray and the beige, maybe the pink. Save and continue. I'm going to do the same thing for the tank top. Uh, remove the white, remove the light K. Great. Sorry. So, but you see how pretty much easy it is. It just, it did a lot of work. I mean, if you only have one or two, maybe it's easier to go directly to the site. But if you have your own website and you're using Printful, which is a great idea, if you don't want to mess with WooCommerce, use Shopify. It works great. Did I do sweatshirts already? No. But then you already have the artwork somewhere and you can just push it over and get most of the work done for you. So all I have to go in here isn't changed in colors and we're done. So yeah, that's it. And we can go back to uh, ba, ba, ba. where we at? That's Teespring. Over here. See, they're all done a minute ago. And if you wanted to, if you don't have the site open, you can click here to go edit this product in your um, Inktail site. Or we can click here to go view it in Inktail. I gotta go in and remove some of the lower ones. Let's go to uh, the phone case and see if we can change the scale here a little bit. Guess we can't. Oh, there we go. Make it a little smaller so it fits on the case. Save and continue. Isn't that cool? So, I can't give any positive recommendations on how well you'll sell with Intel. I just, they came out with this integration with Printful this weekend, and I jumped on it. It's, for me, I'm still loading my shirts over. You can see I got quite a few here. To me, you can't, it doesn't hurt to have your shirts on as many POD sites as possible to get as many views as possible and hopefully more sales. So 
If you want to sign up for a Printful account, I have down there in the description a link. It is an affiliate link, so I get a little something something if you sign up for Printful and make a sale or two. Please use that if you don't, no big deal. But uh, yeah, sign up for Printful, load up your designs, push them, sign up for Shopify, make a Shopify account, push them there, make an ink tail. And like I said, they do have uh, Amazon integration. It's a little difficult. I haven't got into it because you have to get a brand. Um, here's all the things they now integrate with. Uh, Gumroad, I, I'm going to look into that next. Uh, Big Cartel, that's like Shopify. You have to pay for that service. Store Envy, well, I should look into Store Envy. I think that's free. I'm not positive. But this is all the places that Printful integrates with. So if you have stores on any of these, you can, boom, push your products to all these from Printful and it just saves you time. And if you have, pay for ShipStation, you can integrate with Etsy. And that's cool. I, I'm, I'm waiting for the eBay integration. That's what I want to see. And I might check it out and see. Uh, oh, they do. There's my next thing. Because right now I've been loading them by hand. So I'm going to go see how much ShipStation costs and start integrating with eBay. That might be my next video. So there you go, guys. Integration Printful to, I can't keep it from Inktail. Go check it out. Have fun. Hope you get lots of sales. Talk to you guys later.